Hello, hello, it's Artu here again. I'm on my way to start my spring project. A problem named flagpole. It's 7A, slightly overhanging. De reasonable holds, but bridge moves. I'm positive on getting it done before the summer is here. Uh, I have plenty of time to try it, and it's not too far away for me to go there with the bike. Today I'm borrowing my roommate's car, so got, I can get there a bit faster. I have slightly sore forearms from yesterday's training, but I don't want that to get in my way. And I don't want to make it as an excuse, just letting you know. Was it this already? I think. I thought I knew how to get there, I've already been there, but apparently not. Almost. My session started pretty bad because I started warming up, doing some easy traverses across the easy boulders there with some big chucks and all. I jumped down and I actually sprained my ankle a bit. I got worried that I need to take a break from climbing, but I did some jumping and other mobilizing on it and it turned out to work at least moderately. Boulder contains three main moves, I would say. First one is this really long dead point move with your left hand into a Gaston hold. It's a decent hold, but it's really far away. But the crucial part here is that to really get as high as you can without cutting your feet. So then the Gaston edge is the best it can be. After that, this pretty good edge where you get need to get your right hand it's kind of a cross move but that's probably when you are gonna cut your feet unless you're putting them perfectly basically when you get that right hand and you can keep the swing then the ball is pretty much done <laughs> and here I'm testing the top part as well it's a full line of slopers but no good edges on that rail but when you get your feet higher then there is this one jog half a meter from the top edge then it's just being careful with the feet and going to top now pretty much the beta was already figured out I knew what I had to do just concentrate on the little details like 
first move I need to overshoot this left hand as you can see when I can't get the left hand far enough the first move will not even stick Very important part for me was that I need to get this left hand. Now it's pretty open, but if I want to do the next move, I need to get that grip closed and crimp it. I feel like I couldn't apply enough force with the open hand, and that was a hard part for me and it took me maybe five tries five tries to actually get the fingers correctly on that one yes okay. mind is really blown from today. I had zero expectations on actually topping out that problem. I sincerely thought that it would take me at least two to five sessions to do that even more but somehow I did it already. Wow I'm just I'm just so excited to have done it now. So I just got back after driving a while in the car, the ankle got a bit worse and it started swelling. This is how it looks right now. Doesn't look too good. Hope it's not bad.